This is another EMQS called Quick Start video. In this video, I will show you how to use EMQS Cloud Data Integrations to bridge data to webhook. The EMQS Cloud Data Integrations is used to configure the roles for handling and responding to EMQS message flows and device events. The data integrations not only provides a clear and flexible configurable architecture solution, but also simplifies the development process, improves user usability, and reduces the coupling degree between the business system and the EMQS cloud. It also provides a superior infrastructure for customization of EMQS cloud's proprietary capabilities. Now let's jump into the demonstration part. First of all, let's go to the EMQS Cloud Console and click on the deployment you created. In this case, you need to make sure your VPC peering connection is connected. If the status shows running, it means your VPC peering connection is established successfully. Now let's go to the data integration sections. In these sections, you can see there's all kinds of data integrations you can choose. At this time, we will choose Webhook. Click on the Webhook to create a new resource. For the request URL, you should input your IP of the machine based on your need. I will just do the copy and paste mine here. And then click on the test to check the availability of the resource. If it shows resource is available, we could simply click on the new button to create this resource. Now you've successfully created a new resource. Now let's create a new rule based on this resource. You should input the SQL command based on your need. After doing so, you can always do a simple SQL test to check if your SQL gives you the desired output before creating the rule. Then click on the next. Now it's time to add a response action. Select the resource created in the first step. Make sure action type is send data to web service and fill in the blanks in the following data. I will just input the template message here. Now you've successfully created the rule. You can choose to continue adding another action or just starting using this current action. Now you've successfully created a rule with a response action. Now let's return to the list of rules. In here, you can monitor the action matrix of the, of the rule. Now let's test it out. In this video, I will use MQTTX to simulate temperature and humidity data. In the console, you need to replace broker EMQS IO with the created deployment connection address and add client authentication information to the EMQS dashboard. Click on the connect button. If everything is right, you will see a connected message shown on the page. Now let's try to send some data. In the web console, you could clearly see the data is received successfully. Now let's try to send more data. Now go back to the webhook console. You can see several messages are coming in. Now let's go back to the EMQS Cloud console to check the action matrix. In here, you can see that there are two successes, which means we've successfully bridged data from EMQS Cloud to Webhook Server. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.